Hey now, my name is Nick, Board Game Brawl, and this is your Kickstarter update. And let's start with a quick footnote to a project that ended actually a couple of years ago. The Doom that came to Atlantic City was a very popular project on Kickstarter a couple of years ago. It made over 100 grand, which is a lot of money for a Kickstarter project at the time. However, a year after the project ended, Eric Chevalier, the publisher, said, it's not happening. The game is canceled. Sorry. I used all of the money on myself and starting my company, and I couldn't even pay the designer and the artist, and he really didn't fulfill any of the refunds he promised either. However, Cryptozoic Entertainment stepped in as sort of an angel investor, not only to publish the retail version of the game, but to fulfill the missing pledges for those backers who had originally pledged, minus some of the uh, Kickstarter rewards they were originally promised, unfortunately. And I thought that was the end of the story. However, out of nowhere, the Federal Trade Commission announced last week that they had brought charges against Eric Chevalier and reached a settlement, which there's some murky details there, but basically they admonished him for what he did in uh, defrauding the uh, the uh, the backers of the Kickstarter project and are sort of preventing him from ever uh, gaining money through crowdfunding means for the foreseeable future. I think 18 years was mentioned at some point. Now, this is a sort of a mixed bag here. It's great because people are actually being held accountable for their fraudulent Kickstarters. However, I would say that if you have been a victim of a fraudulent Kickstarter, I wouldn't get too excited that this means that you may see some sort of justice because it, we're still in it's sort of the infancy of holding these type of people accountable. However, I do think that this is great news overall because it means that uh, finally the government is taking notice when people are doing really shady things on Kickstarter just as they should have been this entire time. The epic card game from White Wizard Games has the dubious distinction of being the game I've been most pestered about since I started my Kickstarter update. Why did you not mention Epic? How could you not do that? It's fantastic. What's wrong with you? Listen, I can't mention every single Kickstarter project every week, and I actually am genuinely interested in Epic. I love uh, their previous game, Star Realms, with the, which was a smash sleeper hit from last year. I love the artwork of Epic. It's beautiful. I love the fantasy setting more than the science fiction setting of Star Realms. And the gameplay seems interesting. It looks like Star Realms mixed together with Magic the Gathering. I should mention that this was a bit of a failed trading card game from about four years ago that White Wizard had originally tried that did not get great reviews but hopefully they've upgraded it quite a bit and learned a lot of lessons since that time and I'm very interested to see where this one goes. Street Kings is looking to be the first published game from the team at Board to Death, a video review channel. This game is all about the, not only racing cars, but before that, getting them ready through sort of Euro-style elements your, uh, and worker placement. You're going to be going to car shows in order to get money. You're going to be buying cars, upgrading cars, all trying to get them ready for the race to get the best prizes possible. There's a lot of racing games out there, but this one looks to mix a lot of different elements that those games just don't have. So if you're into that sort of theme, definitely check it out. My name is Nick from Board Game Brawl. You can check me out at youtube.com forward slash board game brawl. This has been your Kickstarter update and do not let the man keep you down.